Hi, I'm Dr. Anant Raman, consultant endocrinologist at uh, Magna Centers for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at uh, BTM Bangalore. How does one treat osteoporosis? Osteoporosis is not a disease, all right? Osteoporosis is a condition of increased risk of fractures. So that's what osteoporosis is. So when do we decide to treat osteoporosis? There is an online tool called the FRAC score that we use before we decide to treat anybody for osteoporosis. So it is not only those people who have osteoporosis that we treat, we treat those patients who have osteopenia also. Osteoporosis and osteopenia have got a slightly different technical definition, but uh, both of them are uh, patients with both either osteopenia or osteoporosis are at higher risk of fractures in the future. If the fracture expectation is more in the next 10 years, then we treat such patients. So what are the treatments that we offer in osteoporosis? Number one, calcium. Number two, vitamin D. Number three, bisphosphonate. Number four, recombinant human teriparatide. So these are the treatments that are offered in osteoporosis. So calcium and vitamin D are supplemental therapies actually. So we can take calcium naturally as well. We can take dietary calcium, but what happens is in most of the Indian diet, the calcium is very low in the diet and it's almost impossible to get the patients with osteoporosis to take adequate calcium. So we offer supplemental calcium, which is either calcium carbonate or calcium citrate malleate. So then we also have uh, vitamin D. Vitamin D again is available for free in sunlight. So if you sit in the sun, for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes every day in the afternoon, every day, day in and day out, you are likely to have adequate vitamin D. But then again, it's not a practical solution and we go for supplemental vitamin D. So we give supplemental calcium, supplemental vitamin D to everyone who has osteoporosis. And we also decide whether to give bisphosphonate. Bisphosphonate can be either an oral bisphosphonate or an injectable bisphosphonate. Injectable bisphosphonate can be administered once in a year. So it's very convenient for the patient, but it, it involves an intravenous line being placed and an infusion being given over 15 to 30 minutes. And uh, we also have an option where they can take tablets every week once, but on empty stomach with water, with plenty of water. So this is another option. And in those who have severe osteoporosis, especially individuals who have had osteoporosis and have had fractures due to osteoporosis, falling down and hurting oneself, you know, fracture and fall uh, has happened and, uh, you know, already fractures have occurred. So in such situations, we tend to go with uh, an anabolic agent or a bone building agent. It is nothing but a hormone, which is 1 to 34 recombinant teriparatide, teriparatide it's called. So it is uh, uh, an analog of the uh, hormone, parathormone, which is present in our blood actually. We convert that into a smaller fragment, a smaller fragment, which is equally active is used for treatment. It is widely available in different forms in India and it is a daily injection to be taken for about one and a half years. So post one and a half years, the bone really does not build actually. And uh, the bone building happens uh, only in the first six to eight months. And then after that, thereafter it kind of stabilizes. So we use recombinant uh, teriparatide for a duration of one and a half years in those who have severe osteoporosis and then follow it up with bisphosphonate. Thank you.